Again, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What does that mean? That means that if you can speak to the fig tree, you can speak to a mountain. What is, it, what is he saying? Whatever the problem is, no matter how big it looks, you can speak to it and tell it to move. What are you doing? You're speaking into your life or into the life of others. And you are speaking to the mountain and you are prophesying to that thing. You are speaking to it and you are telling it what is the end result. The end result, mountain, the end result, cancer, is that you're going to leave my body. My body is going to be healed. It's going to be well. It's going to be strong. It's going to be healthy because mountain slash cancer, you can't stay here. This body belongs to Jesus. Therefore, it's his property and you're not in him. So get out of me just simple. That's just one way to say it. But you have to speak that in result. This is the way it will be. See, people are afraid of absolutes. You have to be able to stand up and go, no, let me tell you. Well, here's what's going to happen. The economy's going to fall. It's going to be this. Oh, it's going to be terrible. This thing. And know we got another whole, you know, thing trying to gain ground if people will actually pick it up and say it, which is a sad part because most Christians, see, your words are the words that have the most power because you are filled with the Holy Spirit. And so your words have power. And all the news agencies are trying to do is get, it, get this word in your mouth. Because then if you, two or three agree, do, well, did you hear what the news said? Yep. Well, what do you think about that? Well, it's going to be terrible. Oh, I know it is. Guess what? You two just agreed. So it's definitely going to be terrible for you two. Why? Because if any two agree, it's touching anything. Do you get that? Again, words. People say, well, don't you agree? I, I, I hate it whenever I'm somewhere and some preacher or whoever it is or is speaking, and I'll be there, and they'll say, and I know Brother Curry would agree with me when I say. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, please, 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 Lord. Make him like Zechariah. Let him just go mute for 30 <laughs> seconds. You just bleep that out or whatever it is. Because most of the time it's like, that's not, I would not agree with that. So we have to decide, what are you going to agree with? Agree with God. Agree with his words. Agree with life. Change your words. It means there is an effort to start changing your words, but it is worth it. Look at the people, and listen, look at the people who watch their words and speak life. Look at their life. Now, I'm not saying storms don't come, but guess what? Their life is built on the word, and they weather the storm. But look at the people that speak the opposite. Their house doesn't stand. They have the same storms, but the storms take their house down. You can look at the difference in the lives. Don't, don't look at what they profess. Well, if they're a Christian, they're not a Christian. No, don't look at that. Look at what they say. What you say is what you are because what you say comes out of your heart. Amen?